What you guys today we're taking a look at how to turn your Raspberry Pi into a desktop PC. This little MIDI PC here is the Desk Pi Pro. It's version 2 and it's pretty awesome. Have a look at the uh, specs on the back here. You can see what contains in the package. So you can pause the screen and read that at your own leisure. But what I want to do here is show you what you get in the kit here. You can see we've got the actual unit with the Raspberry Pi 4 8 gigabyte version of RAM on this one here, which is already in the uh, unit itself. I'll take it apart so you can see it and how easily it is to put together. You've got your user manual here and your instruction manual to how to put it together and your warranty card. You've got your cable here, which is your type C to USB for your cable for powering the actual device with a UK plug on this one. But they do have plugs for other countries as well. Now this has everything that you need, all your toolkit screws and accessories that you're going to need to get this all set up. This is a little attachment here which you can use if you want to use an SSD or an M.2 uh, drive here. We also have our uh, DeskPi Raspberry OS on here with driver installed in the kit here. I'll show you how to get all this up and running. I do want to show you the unit as well. This little uh, DeskPi is made of aluminium or aluminium if you're in America. You can see it's very well designed. Uh, the back panel and front panel here are made of Perspex. I'll show you these in a second. I'm just taking all of this off here so you can see. And then when I dismantle this to show you inside, to put in an SSD in here, you'll see what it looks like. It looks really nice and cool. I do like the look of it. And uh, this at the back panel here, you've got all your Type-C connector, HDMI, You've got all your USB ports, Ethernet, and plenty of ventilation in here as well. So you've got all of the access to what you need here to get up and running. You've got your ventilation for the board here and the CPU, which will be under here, which has a really big cooler on there to keep it nice and cool. So I'm just going to undo these here with the tool that comes in the kit and uh, basically get these removed. You need to remove these, and then we need to remove all of the screws on the bottom here. And I'll show you exactly how we're going to go about doing all of this. So let me just get this all open so you can see what it looks like. So I've done all the screws and took the front and the back panel off here. And all you need to do here now is just slide this out. This is the actual acrylic sort of uh, plate here that goes on the front and the back here. So just push this out once you've undone everything. And uh, once we've got this out, we'll be able to attach your drive on here if you want to. So you can see the Raspberry Pi has already been attached here. It just basically pushes on to this little board here. So you just push this onto the actual board. And there's another little area for your uh, SD card here, which will uh, attach. I'll show you all this in a second. There's your big cooler, which is going to keep the actual Pi cool. And a really nice, unique design, I think, to this little... Uh, mini PC here. So what are you going to do with this mini PC once you get it set up? Well, you can do pretty much whatever you like. There's plenty of projects out there. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to add an SSD into this so we can um, basically remove the micro SD card slot on here so we can just use the SSD. And I'll show you how to set all this up and get it up and running and working. It's pretty straightforward. So let me just take this uh, panel off here. It's held on by a few screws. Now, if you want to leave this on here, this is the actual M.2 slot here. I think this is for SATA. I don't think it's a, an NVMe type slot here. I could be wrong, but I'll check that. And if it is, then I'll leave some information up on the screen. We're going to remove this because underneath here, this little plate here, there is an actual area where we can put in an SSD. So I'm just going to remove this by wiggling this off. I've undone the screws and we can uh, put this to one side. Now, if you want to use that, you can do. I don't have one of those to hand, so I'm going to be using an SSD on this panel here. So I've got a SSD inside here, and I'm going to uh, screw this down on the back here, which I've already done. And then we can put this back onto our board here. So let me just quickly give you a quick look here with while we've got this all removed here. You see this big board here, which is what's connected to your Pi, and there's a ribbon cable connected over here. We do have this area here, which has a board slotted on. And then we also have the board that slots onto the actual Raspberry Pi this way here. This is for your micro SD card slot here. You screw this on and it just transfers over to here because it's now moved to the other side of the board here. So it's just a way to transfer it across 
here. Very nice little design. I do like this. You've got your power button and everything you need here. So that cooler is going to be really nice and cool. And it should run really quiet. And it's pretty easy to install this. And there's a little ribbon cable across here as well that's connecting to the board here. So I'm just going to screw this back down and get this back on because we've now got our SSD on here, which I think this unit will run better with an SSD rather than a micro SD card slot. So let's go and put these screws back in and then we'll move on to the next section of what we can do here. Okay, so we've got this all done now. All I need to do here is push the, uh, the actual unit back into its case and then we need to screw this down. Just line these up so they go the right way around only get this the wrong ways you won't be able to screw it down and then once you've got this you just carefully just push it back into position and then you'll be able to use the screws that you remove to screw this back down and this should be nice and secure once you've got this screw down i'll just show you one screw here so you get the idea and uh, basically we can move on to the next stage here so now we've got the unit all ready i've got our power cable and our hdmi cable so we get some display and I've got my operating system plugged in here. This is the Raspberry Pi OS on here. And we also got our adapter on here because we're using the SSD in here. You'll see what that does once we get this all fired up. So let me get this all set up and uh, you should see the desktop now. Here we are at the desktop. And what we're gonna do is open up a terminal here and you definitely want to do an upgrade and an update on here. So let me just quickly do this at sudo apt uh, update and this will give us some updates. And once we've done those, we can do the next one, which is the sudo uh, apt full dash upgrade. This does take a fair bit of time, so be patient, let it do its thing. And once you're fully updated and upgraded, we can move on to the next stage. So I'm just going to let this finish off and then we can close this off. Now, once this is finished, I'm going to quickly reboot. Uh, the device so we can uh, make sure that everything is okay and then we need to clone our drive so we're going to clone our micro sd card over to our ssd so let me just quickly reboot the system first just to make sure everything is okay so i'm going to go to log out and then reboot and then once we get back to here we can go up to the icon here go accessories and come down to sd card copier once we've got this open we can copy from device which is obviously going to be our uh, micro sd card slot and we're going to select that and then we're going to copy to device which is going to be our ssd so select that there and once you've got these selected and make sure they're correct so just highlight these and you should see the start button now come up here click start and this will clone the os across to the ssd which means we can then remove the micro sd card from the unit and it will then be running on our SSD. It's going to erase all of the data on that SSD, so bear that in mind. And once I click yes here, just let it copy across. It will take a fair bit of time, but once we've done this, it should be a lot more zippier when we're uh, booting up and when we're using the actual device because we're running on an SSD. So I'm going to let that all do its thing. It does take a fair bit of time, so be patient and let that copy across. That should be now completed. There we go. And once we've got this done, we will need to reboot the system and remove our micro SD card slot and boot to our device for the first time, which will be our SSD. Once we've done that, we need to run a script on here, which is designed to uh, control the cooling of our system. So I'm going to go over to the website here and use these commands here. Now, depending on whether you're using Ubuntu or Ubuntu Mate, Manjaro, uh, Kali Linux, uh, Twister, or any other other type of operating system on yours they should be listed here if they're not then you will need to do a bit more research but they've covered as much as they can here we're running uh, the retro pi os so we're going to go ahead and copy these inside here and paste them into a terminal and once we've done this we'll just go through here and let it finish off and you're all set everything should be up and running and we should be getting a much more better control of our system. So I'm just going to go through here and copy and paste these. And then once this is done, you're pretty much good to do whatever you like with your uh, little mini desktop PC that you've just created. So yeah, a pretty nice little device. I'm pretty impressed with it so far. 
If you want to see me do some projects with this device, then let me know in the comments section below what you'd like to see me do with this. But if you head over to their website, DeskPi, there is the DeskPi Nano, which is a smaller unit. They also have some other versions which come pre-installed or you can come as a kit where you can put them together yourself. Uh, depending on uh, what your uh, skill level is, you can either buy it straight away as is already completed as a unit or you can buy it as it comes in bits and then put it together yourself. And again, you can buy the 8 gigabyte uh, version or the 4 gigabyte version. This is the 8 gigabyte version. And I think this will make a lovely little Christmas gift for people that like to tinker with stuff and like to do little projects. There's plenty of stuff on the website. I'll leave all the information and the links in the video description so you can read them at your own leisure. If you've never used a Raspberry Pi before, then this is a great place to start because I think it's a really nice uh, case for a Raspberry Pi and it's pretty affordable. And again, it just tidies things up a little bit and it looks pretty nice as well on the desktop. Anyway, I think that's going to be about it for this one. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a big shout out to all my YouTube members who join my YouTube members group. Your names are rolling up on the screen right now. I really do appreciate your support. Have a lovely weekend and I shall see you again for another video tomorrow. Hopefully I'll see you on the Discord server. Thanks again for watching. Bye. <laughs>